listen up. It's the number one voice of the tri-state. I'm number one. It, 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 it's clicking up 215. So let the show begin. Cheerio. Y'all already know who it is. It's your man, Smooth. What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Stormy P. And this is Cooking Up 215. And today's guest, we have none other than famous Kate Walker himself. Ooh. What's going on? What's Thank going you, on, my man? brother, for coming. For sure. You know, it's a lot of talk in the streets right now, and they saying you're the king of battle rap in Philly, man. <laughs> Ooh, heavy. <laughs> that's, heavy. That's, that's what I'm hearing, man. I've been scrolling all day. It's like, damn, 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 damn. Yeah. You're hitting them hard. Thank you. Appreciate it. How you, how you feel about that? Do you, do you feel as though you're the king of battle rap right now? It's not what I said. It's what you can. The stats of it. The the what the people are saying. Yeah, ain't no. It's like anybody can fight, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. You you could call yourself the king or something, but yeah. do the people feel like and battle rap is uh, it's tricky, man, because you can win ten battles mm -hmm. on the eleventh. If you lose that one, they forget about the ten you won. So it's more about like just being consistent. So I can be the king right now, and tomorrow it, it's no more. So it's more the consistency of it. Okay. Versus the talent. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about how you became the king of Philly Battle Rap. What's up with the Battle Academy? How did you get linked up with Stiz? Like, well, what's the origins of that? Um, so I knew Stiz since I was like 16, 17 years old. Uh, just running the streets, being stupid. No, nothing, <laughs> nothing special. Um, and I start. I think he went away. I think he moved out of Philly for like a couple of years. And I start battling. And I start, I start making like a lot of noise. Um... Young young Bob. Is it like the two raw for the streets days? Yeah, but two raw for the streets. I was on two raw for the streets, but th that was when I was 15. This is more. This is before that. Nah, this is after. You talking after that? Okay. Yeah, I uh, knew Stills around that time, but as far as the Battle Academy, this came. I was in my 20s. Right. So, so my man, Young Bob, he started like a battle league, and um, I was I was beating everybody on that battle league, and nobody wanted to battle me. Like, no, nah, I ain't battling okay, well. So like oh, damn. so you could almost be too good at battle rap, whereas though yeah, you could be because nobody want to touch you. Yeah, because I always approached it different. Like I'm not the average, I kill everybody in the house type of boy. I like I really would I I'll break my opponent down to make you look at them different. Oh, so a lot of people ain't want to battle me. So I remember with this like he came back to Philly and he was like, "Yo, I see what you're doing. I didn't know you could battle rap." Da da da. Let's 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 start a battle league. Bring Philly battle rap back. Mm. Nobody want to battle you. So um, basically uh, I'm like first I haven't, I ain't want to do it. I'm like man, whatever. Man. Why you ain't want to do it? Because right. I I'm not a. I'm not a battle rapper. I started off making like songs and stuff. Mm, I just right. did that to, it's Philly culture to battle. Okay. So I, I tried it one day and I just never lost. But you came from, you was on Too Raw for the Streets originally. You yeah, see? no, all right, so let me tell you. All right, so yeah, because so that's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's a whole other story. Down. All right, so look, all Philly battle, all Philly rappers, period, from the, to, to no names to the biggest names you could think of started on Too Raw for the Streets. Right. But at 15, I, I was on there, but I didn't make the DVD. So years later, when I got known, he dropped the footage. And he, okay. And he, and he put a, if, even if you watch the, uh, the post under it, he says, something told me to save this footage. Now, I was salty when I was 15. Because I'm like, make the DVD. I ain't make the DVD. Right. But instead of me, I could have quit. Yeah. I could have said, man, I ain't, because everybody was wanting to be on Too Raw for the Streets. Right. That was, but that instead was, of that, I was like, man. That was a, going viral back then. Yeah. Back then, if you so, made Too Raw and stuff like that. So I didn't shine in that era, but I said, you know what? I'm going to just work my ass off and, and make him remember me. Right. And lo and behold, he dropped the footage years later and like a, like a speech or whatever. Like, I was still salty, like, man, because like, I knew, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he, um, he, was, he was just telling me, man, I just feel like, you, you should have had more. But I, I was 15 years old, though. Right, so, right. I mean, I wasn't you taking it. You think it worked better out yeah. now it, than it Yeah, I'm so... Then. Listen, I was, I was telling somebody the other day, like, thank God I didn't shine in that era. Okay. Because in that DVD era, a lot of guys got stuck, like, right there. In the yeah. DVD era. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. definitely would like to talk so to you about that, So I was thankful too. that... I was like, yo, I'm glad I got known now. Because if I was in that era... And it's not because they was corny or couldn't make a song. It's just... The your way thing was, made now. you were so... Uh, thinking about a guy like on a DVD, 
you and me, him, and God might be like, yo, this is my mixtape. You might be like, yeah, but when the next DVD you want? You so wrapped up in the DVD right. thing that you weren't even worrying about nobody's they look songs. At, they like, looked at people as a one-trick pony. Yeah. They looked at Reed like, oh, this is what you're yeah, going to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? A yeah. couple people like, yeah, so I was, this is what y'all do. That's all you thankful. can do. Yeah, I kind of dodged the bullet right there. So thank God I ain't give up. I just kept rapping. And um, so to fast forward, still seeing what I was doing, because I he, he had stopped rapping. Mm -hmm. He, I don't yeah, know what he happened. used to do the ape gang and yeah, all that. Yeah, he stopped yeah. rapping, so I, I kept going or whatever. And um, he came back, seeing what I was doing. He was like, "Yo, we should start something, a battle league." First, I ain't want to do it. I'm like, "Man, I don't want to just battle all my life." But he just kept calling me. He was like, "Yo, you the only one. Nobody else would do it. Da da da. Everybody scared." So I just said, "All right, well, just come on." And that was like four or five years ago. Matter of fact, see, I just made a post with me and this. It says. Four that years. Met back. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And he on there like facts because the thing was, sometimes I think back, like we had a conversation. I'm like, yo, if I ain't never battle, this new battle world probably wouldn't exist. Right. Because if I would have just kept saying no, it wouldn't be like it the would, Battle it Academy would, it and been all this stuff. To be able to really yeah. So like I'm kind of like thankful to be a part of like bringing Philly battle rap back. But um, do you remember who your first battle was on the Battle Academy and did you win? Yeah, for sure. It was Caution. Okay, okay. Uh, and Caution was somebody that I looked up to. I didn't look up to him, but... He had a name. He had a name. Yeah. So when I battled him, in my mind, I'm like, yo. See, I was always confused because the guys who I... I was... It was some guys that I battled, and I was confused. Like, yo, I really grew up and battled these guys. I thought by the time I got older, they would be gone. Right. So that's another reason why I don't battle and battle and battle. Like, I try to do other things. Like, I don't want to get stuck, like, just doing battle. Right. right. So, um, yeah, it was caution. Yeah, it was caution. And I, I don't know the date, but it's like, yeah, like four or five years ago we did that. And then ever since then, he had another battle. And then I would come in and out periodically. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I ain't battling in like four months, but uh, you know. Uh, is that a strategic call? Is that something that you don't? Nah, like I just don't want to be a battle rapper things. all my life. Like that's other stuff I got going on. Like you know what I'm saying. And I learned that just from watching. Like you know what I'm saying. Like people that I grew up looking up to, and I would wonder like, yo, why these guys never excel? And right, I'm like, right, well, right. all they do is just this. Yeah. And then I would get around other people and learn like Brandon, cause like. A lot of people got like a thing like battle rappers can't make songs, but right. my fan. Well, I I feel like I broke that curse because when I make music, you don't hear a lot of battle rappers on Power ninety nine all the time. You don't hear right. a lot of battle rapper with viral songs. So I kind of broke that curse of a battle rapper can't make songs. And if you go back in history, before the internet, a lot of battle rappers like Jay Z. A DMX, Eve, they were battle rappers. Right. It wasn't, you just, it wasn't no social media to see these So you couldn't battling. see it, right, until, yeah. until they went to the levels they yeah. went to. Yeah, and battle rap, like, I made it my hustle versus just being my talent, because I done took battle rap and did you things. You turned it into something. Yeah, I done, used it like a launch pad. Yeah, right. I done, I always dreamed of being on BET. When I was rapping, they didn't see me. Yeah. I started battle rapping, they put me right on. I was about to say that's that. what I'm saying. Uh, so you said something back in like 2014, whereas though battle, yeah, 14, you, yeah. you, you was going to be on the BET Cypher. You was like, I'm going to be on one of these. You BET. seen that. Yeah, I seen that. So <laughs> yeah. like to to see that come to fruition, how did that feel? Man, I, listen, I, I thought I was asleep because it's not that they just put me in the Cypher. It was they, like Michael B. Jordan. Did yeah, a whole I didn't even know Michael career. B. Jordan knew who the hell I was. I, I'm watching it one day because you know, like everybody got the camera. Right. You don't know what they do when you leave. Right. I watch it back on TV, and I just hear Michael B. Jordan saying, "Yo, K. Walker, he the face of Philly." It wasn't. Forget the fact that I was on BT. I'm thinking like Michael B. Jordan watch me. And then later on, he would send me DMs like, yo, we watching. Or, oh, Michael B. Jordan be DMing you? <laughs> <laughs> I want that. Nah, but to, to my I surprise, <laughs> a lot of celebrities who I looked up to DM me. You got a Eric, lot of... Aaron not, Sherman, you got Young a lot Jock. of dudes, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cosigns. I know uh, Stevie J is, what's the name, folks, but he yeah, said she was a problem. Yeah, a lot you, of people. Was uh, you know, Noriega. Yeah, they, um, I think the... DJ um, FNA, he even, like, he brought you up. Me. And he brought you up, like, you know, when the dude's speaking out yeah, it just yeah, from his heart. That shocked me, because he always in yeah. Miami. And uh, I think the, the biggest cosign that really... Turned my head like, all right, this is the one. When I was little, you know, for, for like everybody wanted to be like a rough rider. Mm -hmm. 
So I think like a uh, probably like a few weeks ago, uh, Wadeen, the, the the guy who owns the rough, the CEO, he just he sent me a message like, "Yo, King, I'm a fan. Like I want to work with you." Mm. And he called me. We was on the phone like an hour. And he was like, "Yo, listen, you remind me of DMX." You can battle rap and make songs. I never seen nobody that can do that. Like mm-hmm. I really want to work with you. And so if you go on my page, you'll see like us together and stuff like that. So that one hit me because I always, when I was little, I grew up like, man, when I grew up, I'm gonna be a buff rider. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was gonna get a motorcycle too, or like just nah, the music. Nah, not the motorcycle. Okay. I was gonna chill okay. on that. He was gonna chill. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know how to flip. That's, what, yeah, that's what I just, want. It's just with anything, man. It's one thing is talent, but sometimes you can learn how to use it as a hustle because right. anybody can rap. It's, it's just about the decisions I mean, you make. That's the thing. It's it's so hard. Like like you said, a lot of dudes, you had Reed, you had Cassidy. Mm-hmm. It's almost kind of like a curse, I would say. Yeah. Like you say, you broke the curse, but you, you know, you're still on the brink. For sure. You still got to make it over this home. Still you like you right it. there. The light is on you. Still got to do it. But it's like you got to make it happen. It's all, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. Reed almost, he tried to do it. Like, mm-hmm. he was there, he was dropping songs, he had left the battle rap scene, yeah. and was starting I, to do it, and then somehow shit And I had to bring him left. back. That was another thing that I grew up watching Reed. Right. And then to this forward today, if you watch some of his interviews, he'll say, K. Walker is the reason why I started again. He was Doing like, music and everything like he that? He said, I quit. That's heavy. It's on his page. He said, I quit. I seen K. Walker. I said, yo, I got to do this again. And then to this day... Um, whenever he got something going on, bro, I need you to motivate me. What's going on? Let's uh, and then you out. and I actually became his manager. So somebody I grew That's up heavy. watching, I become their manager. Or I, when I was little, I used to listen to Cassidy. I felt like every rapper in the world wanted to right. be known by Cassidy. So to grow up, I never seen Cassidy co-sign a rapper for Philly. And then you so for me to co-sign. get co-signed by Cassidy, he calls me all the time. And sometimes I'd be like, yo. You really calling me? He be like, bro, I need you to hear this. So sometimes that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I could not only just gave up at 15 from not making that DVD. That was right. my whole thing. Just to anybody can be you talented. You could have quit. Yeah, right. like, a lot of like what the, like the stuff I'm telling you. You could find three million rappers to say the same thing to you. Right. But the point is to don't give up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you lot, never know where it can you go. You never know. Mm-hmm. Right. Or if you give up, you never know how close you was. That's true. <laughs> you know that's true. And it, it's crazy because you. Not only got the co-sign by Cassidy, but you get a lot of like comparisons. Like not comparison as your style, mm. but whereas though people are questioning like who's the real go to Philly right now. Mm. Whereas though is it Cassidy or is it K Walker? I never, and I say that that's never, crazy. I like, never thought I'd that's like, do a film like I top did. ten in the source, the top ten battle rappers. You, you saying that? T- <laughs> Yo, you see like, that? <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Nah, it's just a, it's just like I try to like just stay humble because like. The whole thing is I watch rappers when I was little be the top of their game and then it all go away from them being too cocky or they just forgetting. I mean, it's just so I just try to stay humble and just be thankful. Of it. It's a dream, though. Sometimes I be having to pinch myself. I didn't. Yeah. Like even uh, till this day, I'll be sitting there. And um, matter of fact, I was supposed to. I could say it because it didn't happen yet. I was a BT. uh at like two awards ago, mm-hmm. I was supposed to battle rap on stage. I forgot which award show it was. They called me to come battle rap like on right stage. Right before COVID or something? Yeah, but then the guy wound up saying, the producer, he said, yo, we're going to bring you back. So the last one, they was going to bring me back. But the whole thing is, like when I was young, I was beating everybody. They couldn't find an opponent. He right. would ask people, like, I ain't battling with So Walker. now, once again, yeah. it's getting, yeah. it's getting yeah. to that point. So I told her, man, just give me anybody. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, sometimes, like, yeah, it, it, it's a such thing of just winning too much. or right. But but still with that, even though I'll win the battle, battle rap is still opinionated. Right. 50 people can say I won. Right. Like 30 people can say, I don't know. I don't see what right. y'all see in them. The I don't like it. In battle rap, there's no scoreboard. So, yeah. you know what I mean? But that's why you take your talent right. and still make it a hustle. You see right. what I'm saying? So, that's the, that's, yeah. you know what I mean? So, that's, that's I, I just make sure you turn into a hustle because all this can get taken away. So, Definitely. make so while I'm doing my talent, <laughs> make sure I'm getting my money and living up my priorities and straight yeah, from my talent because this stuff yeah. can get taken away any, at any time. Well, we about to take a break, and sure. when we get back, we're going to discuss that billboard. We're going to talk the next <laughs> moves, you know what I mean? We're going to talk what you've been doing with this battle rap and where you plan on taking it. For sure. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Smooth. It's your girl, Stormy P. We got Kate Walker in the building. It's cooking on? up 215. We'll be right back.
It's our favorite part of the show. That's your favorite. Yes, sir. Ah, chef. What you got cooking? You already know. What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Stormy P. It's your man, Smooth. And this is Cooking Up 215, and we are in the place with Kay Walker. What's going on? Now, you know we always like to come back from break with a nice little snack, and Kay Walker hit us up and said, I'm a hood nigga from South Philly. Give me some pizza. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. We're doing some pizza, y'all. Pizza, baby. Yeah, Listen, yeah. Uh, we got the cheese popping. Smooth's on his... Uh, Pepperoni, cause he a bougie hoe. So no, yeah, no, we out here. Let's I go. I need a little meat with my situation. I'll be in the gym. You know? <laughs> Needs my protein. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right, now getting back to K Walker. You yeah. got a lot of things going on, but I'm not gonna lie. The streets be talking. Yeah. You got a billboard in New York right now. For sure. Mm -hmm. Streets told me they think you bought that drone. What's up with the what's up? If I need I to know. If I bought the billboard, I would have bought a Benz first. Okay, okay. Talk to him. Okay. Talk to okay. Heavy. And I would have got it in Philly. That's th that's, let's be logical. Okay, so right. talk to me how that billboard so came basically, about. So um, basically, I'm eat my pizza. So basically, if you look in the video, when I'm holding it, you can see me jump when, I, when it turned to it. Cause that whole day, somebody was telling me like, "Yo, it's a billboard in Times Square with your with your with your face on it." I brushed it off for like a couple days, or whatever. But somebody sent me the picture, and on my Instagram, you, it's a picture. I'm like, "Yo, this you know, I'm thinking it's like Photoshop. Yeah. But somebody called me like he said, "Bro, I'm sitting right here. Come on mm. up here." So I took the two hour trip, or whatever. And the whole time I'm telling my homie like, "Yo, if it ain't no billboard up there, we just gonna make the best of the situation. We just going. I don't know. We just going." Get some pizza. Cause that whole day on my gram, you'll see like we just in New York, just I'm just having fun. I'm like, man, that's smacking somebody. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> sure, nah. So um, I see the billboard and I froze. Um, I ain't know, cause when I was younger, I I, I would go to Times Square and I I would always look up and be like, yo, I'm gonna be on that drone one day. Mm. And um, so speaking I a seen, lot of things into existence. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. very in touch with the universe, man. I believe in. There you go. I believe in Speak not moping. I mean, I, like anybody know me. The word, the universe. I never mope around. I don't believe in God. Why me? I'm not one of those people. I believe you. You think positive, you get positive results. Do I, good, I, you get good. That's, that's how true. I am. And um, so basically, come to find out, the person who put the billboard up, he a fan of battle rap. Mm. So what he did was he tried to get in touch with me through somebody in Philly, but you know how guys is, yo, you can't get in touch with K Walker. Nah, I ain't seen him. They mm. knew why he was calling. So he me. did all that to get your attention. Yeah, Damn. and I wound up meeting him later at a party in Chester. That's crazy. Um, somebody was like, yo, let me introduce you to the, the guy that put the billboard up. He was like, yo, I'm a fan. Like, da, da, da. and um, come to find out, it's more of them, and I think they up there like four times a week. That's dope. What and is my the mom, promotion behind she it? She went. And seen, I've seen that, my yeah. mom went to New York one day, and I, I thought it was going. My mom called me. It's still up there. She's screaming. Yeah, and had all a crazy that. reaction. So yeah, um, basically, uh, when I seen the picture, and all I could think of, he must be trying to help me promote my album, because it wasn't. It didn't say nothing on it, but K Walker coming soon, and I'm like, oh, this is the album picture. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. uh, and I had an album dropping actually next month in December. So that's all he was doing. And so I, that was, I was not playing. That wasn't nothing that was orchestrated by you. All my kids you. that wasn't playing. If it was playing, I would have put it in Philly next to my hood. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just somebody showing love. Makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. yeah, I didn't. That's major. You know what I'm and then that's that whole day, cool. as I'm sitting up there, I'm walking to walking through New York, and people just looking at me like, "That's the guy from the billboard." That's because the thing is, even though. I got a heavy battle rap presence in Philly. Mm -hmm. I also have a heavy battle rap presence in New York too, because a lot of New York guys be calling me the out. The battle so, rap trend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a big battle just happened with Murder Mook. Mm -hmm. He says my name in front of millions of people, unexpectedly, Vir Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. I ain't mm -hmm. think he, he just was like something, something, K Walker, everybody called me like, yo, mm. I just heard him saying it. So it's just, un it's just unexpected. I was just sitting up there, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, man, it's just, it's just that good energy. You that get was a joint with Drake, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he said it. And because uh, Drake is um, Drake is like partners with Caffeine or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, yo, did this guy just say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just, I mean, it is what it is, though, man. Shout out to Mook and Reed. They had a good battle. That's crazy. So the song that you and Reed got out. Yeah. What's up with that? You got like... Like, I got a couple songs out. Yeah, but the one I think he the the latest one is probably for his album. He got an album coming out as well, 
Um, I think it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. I think he's doing subtitle like mine. I'm not sure. I gotta go back because he got he working on so much stuff, man. So he not on one of your tracks. You on his tracks? Yeah, I ain't get a chance to get in this. Matter of fact, he is on. It was last year I, we did one, but that's the one I'm gonna put on this album. Me and him. Okay. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because our our relationship is like ten percent of battle rap. We just like cool on some. We, we be thinking that. Investing in houses and stuff, we be talking about some other stuff. So y'all beyond music now. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, dope. For that's sure. crazy. We be talking about. And y'all met through the battle rap. We met through battle rap. Same way with me and Kaz. Kaz called me, spent two minutes on rap and be talking about some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's really wild. Yeah. So with all this newfound fame, you know, you got your name mentioned in these crazy battles. You got the billboards going. I'm gonna be real. I want to know. What's the craziest proposition that you've gotten from a female since you've taken off? Because mm. I know how the ladies get. $20,000 if we can just fuck every, one time every month. What? Mm. And you ain't take it? Hell no. Nah. What? Hell Maybe nah. she just wanted to cuddle. You ain't even ask. Why you take it? <laughs> Smooth say, why, why you ain't take, take it? it? Yeah. You would have took that? I mean, nah, I don't know what First, first, like, <laughs> first, first of all, like, nah, it was a 50-year-old woman and... I mean, 50 is like nah, the new 40, about to run it. Say, say it again, Smooth. Yeah, say it again, Smooth. Nah, 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 nah. The 20K. <laughs> nah, nah. What you look like? See, one thing in this game, man, money come with stuff. True. I would have Yeah, took, dick. That's what she was paying nah, for. Nah, nah. Because nah. <laughs> I didn't have people do... I didn't have guys offer me thousands and thousands. Yo, bro, let me get it behind you. Put some money behind you. And you did not set that up correctly. I'm going to let you know that right bad. now. You did not set oh, that up correctly. It was bad from the rip. We clearing it up for the end of the Yes, yes. Let's yeah, let you nah, fix nah, it now. Listen, listen. <laughs> to just rap, be in your entourage. I rap. Let the internet run with that. Go oh, my God. Go viral or something. Go oh, my goodness. Extent. He yeah. wanted to put some money yes. behind you. Put some money behind me. Got you. Yeah, uh-huh. and, um, Got you. Mm-hmm. I didn't even take that. And that was his. I just, I'd rather just do it myself, man. And from my experience, not every... I, everybody got different experiences, but my experience situations. when I do it myself, I'm cool. It's better. Yeah. And plus, not everyone has good intentions. Yeah, 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 yeah that's uh, what I'm saying. A lot of times when you get into these situations too early on, where it's money involved, that shit do not yeah, go right. Man. And every time she, it's, it's bad. She 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 just gave me stalker vibes. Like she didn't even want to get to know me. Nothing. Just, oh, you feel like I'm a, a fan. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. My whole thing is like. Sometimes fans, you got to let them be fans, man. You right, right, like, right. You let, them let them do the crazy life. shit, yeah. I done had a bad... Su- nah, see, you got... A little like, crazy situation. Yeah, you got, I done had girls... Oh. Can't even talk about it. She might <laughs> find I done had girls watch my flyers, come to every event. They they stalking me and all that. Hit up all my homies, tell them that we dating and all you that. You had any fake oh, pregnancies? Man. I had three of them. Wow. I just heard one that I had some girl pregnant. Damn. Pay for all the situations. You got your Burberry shirt? Nah, not oh, for the baby shower. Not nah. for the baby shower? You ain't doing that? <laughs> nah, nah. But it come with the game, though. Like, mm. females and guys. This times I'll meet... I'll meet a... Yo, I'm beefing with so many rappers I never met before, yo. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> so it's like... You, so now you're dealing with a lot of people dissing you for clout. But that come with the game. That's why I'm so, like, whatever about you, it. Right. Like, because you... That you, used to be your slogan, too, though. Fuck K. Walker. It's so still you kind of built yourself... Because my whole offer. thing is, like... See, this the thing I tell people, like... It's kind of like... You can't just get popular and think, oh, everybody just love me. Don't love you. That's right. uh, that's not real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You gotta accept the love and the hate and the people in between. Cause some people like you, but they feel like my homie rap too. So I can never show you the love that I'm supposed to show you because my homie rap too. So right. man, they just dissing me for their homie. That's how it is. Like, and some people like you, but they feel like they should be in your spot. Yeah, of course. So it's false. Every day I wake up, I'm I, I, I'm getting tagged in a new battle. K Walker not hotter than me, or I get tagged in. I hear di- I hear so many diss tracks. It's to the point I like, I be playing the diss tracks in the car. I just be like, <laughs> just be rolling to them. Cause it, I'm one of those people that I know it come with the game. Like right, right, same right. way, it's not even just about talent. You might have homies that's, that act regular. Act regular. You get a million dollars and see how people act, start acting. You, right. It, it's just, it's come with it. Like, you got a lot of people you, already killing your pockets. Once you become a target, man, come with the game, man. I done had, like, sometimes I'll go to an event. <laughs> I'll see, like, guys just looking at me. They won't say nothing. But go, later, I'll hear, like, a rumor that some guy see me somewhere. He checked me, and I was bitching. <laughs> <laughs> that's what come with the game. You just get yeah, a lot of it. That's what come with the game. So I actually, I expect it. Like it's whatever. So what's the response you're getting from fake ass rappers right now? Fake ass rapper to mixtape? Yeah. 
They love it. For those who don't know, you got a mixtape out right now. That's fake ass rap. You got forty dollars on there. Yeah. I think a lot of your songs is like um, not a lot of them, but you got a couple of them. Like I guess your viral ones, you could say like the PUA one. For sure. You got forty dollars. A lot of things that be that go viral in the city in a sense, like the things that I just we, like we to tend con- to talk about. It's a lot of I just like to connect content. connect with the people. Like I'm not one of them, like I was saying earlier, I'm not with the one of them. I shot everybody. Uh, Talk about right. these cases I ain't got. Kill all these people I ain't kill. I, I connect. I, I talk about so real you life. Would you know they could talk about? Yeah, like I ain't John. Like God. Niggas be rapping dollars. like they John got it on it. Nah, that's you could just. I feel like I I make it cool to just be yourself. Like you right. don't gotta yeah. just be some killer and all that. Cause I be having like kids DMing me. I want to be a right. bad so rapper. So you got all these people all watching you. Yeah. So, you gotta so be an example. Um, and I feel like that broadens your it broadens your fan base too. Because not just the streets. Watch me. I got old white ladies, all type of people, moms, and people be watching. You know what I'm saying? So it bro- you got to broaden your brand because I can't right. battle rap forever. So I got to know how to right. be universal. You know what I'm saying? So what's the response you're getting from that tape, though? Like, are people taking to it? Do they hit you with the don't rap, just do battle rap? Like, you nah, know, are you people be, they fucking with it? They taking nah, to it? You nah. can see where your future going to go musically. I can see. And that's why... Um, that's that's kind of like why told him, uh, told him, put it on side. Okay, Listen, just wanna say, just wanna say, just wanna say, it was on solid. It was on solid. It was on solid. I don't know oh, why I did that. You thought mm. I put it back on like loud? Yeah. That's, okay. That's, I clicked the whole joint. Yeah, that's yeah. the headline. Let's go. Let's go with that. All right. Cool, so, um, cool. like I said, it's a blessing, man. I, I'm getting a good response. I, I get people. DMing me or they tag me something riding around listening to the music. Mm-hmm. And um, the PUA song, I didn't even think that was going to go viral. I was in the studio, my man told me a situation. And I just made a song about PUA because I ain't like what he did with his money. <laughs> I had a homie who bought a Beamer and he lived with his dad. So I'm like, cuz, why would you? And you living mm. with your father. Yeah, that's mm. true. So, so yeah, so, so fast you forward, talk about it. a lot of people who had that 10 grand back in the day, a lot of them don't got it no more. Right. A lot of them don't got it. So what I was saying in the song was like I kind of bring it. What's going to happen when that? Yeah, when that PUA stops. That's what I'm saying. That's why my mind be on business and hustle. The talent is cool, but anybody. How freeway come about? Uh, freeway. uh, On the remix. On the PUA remix. Freeway. He he posted something one day. And he did an interview about this. It's, It's on YouTube. He posted something one day. I put the fire emojis. And he wrote back, bro, I have to get on that PUA remix. That's I dope. keep hearing that song everywhere I go. That's a dope song. That's great. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this freeway. He probably sent me a verse in two months. Two days later, he was on in my inbox, like, yo, check your text messages. I put it out. We shot the video. And he came to the video. That's love. It is what it is. The same thing happened with... Uh, how Cass first got on the song. Right. Let me be on, yo, that song, is, that joint going viral, he, I had this song called Freak on the Part 99. Yeah. And he hit me up like. With all the ass shaking promos and all that. I mean, I don't know. It was, it was a lot of ass. ass. It, was a, it was a lot of Come with the game, man. Bro. So he got on the song and you know, that's, I mean, that's what it is. It's just the history. Like I said, I like, I let it, I let, I don't, I don't force nothing. I just let it come to me, man. Yeah. That's dope. So speaking of relatable content, another song you got Smooth was talking about earlier is Forty Dollars. For sure. I wanna know when is the last time you gave a bitch forty dollars? Never in my life. Mm. You was a lie. Never I been. know you did. You from South Philly. I know you giving niggas forty dollars. Never gave no girl forty dollars in my hey, life. Never so where'd you get the inspiration dollars. for the song? Because that's all they asked for. Mm. <laughs> and <laughs> what's your response? And the and his pandemic, right, like, like, we both got a dub. That's oh forty bones. My yeah, I ain't gonna lie, the pandemic, I think they raised it. They asked him for like sixty now. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> he know the going rates. Mm. Mm. Like, I'll be, be hearing how to be talking to my homies and stuff like that. And like, I'll have a girl in my, you know what? I had a girl in my inbox who said something like, yo, I'm a fan of da-da-da-da, da-da-da. Let me know when your next showing is in Philly. Me and my homies want to come out. I'm like, what's going on in Philly? I ain't got no event coming on, coming up. And she like, no, we just want to come support anything you got going on. I'm like, oh, why? That's love. Couple days later, she was like, hey, love, you got 250? I'm oh, trying to get man. some hair done, you know what I mean? I know you get into it. She I'm like, trying to get you. Nah, that's what, I mean. That's what they do. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you say, it comes well, along with the territory. Come on the territory. Tell everybody where they can find you, what you got going on, what they need to download to keep up with K Walker and everything like that. Um, Instagram, famous K Walker, famous underscore K Walker. And um, 
right now that's all I'm working off. Everything else, YouTube, just type my name in or the Battle Academy battles and all that. So I mean, just be on the lookout. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing too major. All right, y'all already know what it is. This your man Smooth. It's your girl Stormy P. And we got famous K Walker in the building. Yeah. It's cooking up two and five, and we out, baby. Hey yo, man, it's your boy K Walker. Right now we in the kitchen with the cheese pizza. P way over. Gotta stay about the cheese though for sure. Philly in the building. Check out my latest interview with Smooth and Stormy P cooking up two and five. Holla.